Hey guys, the best way to learn FreeCAD is just to build something. So come on, download it, install it, run it, and follow me. Let's build a Lego man. First thing we want to do is hit create. Now, this is where you're going to probably think what the hell is going on because nothing seems to be happening. All the commands here, you know, just switching views, open a web browser, what the hell? Well, first thing you want to do is go to start and pick part design. If you're coming here from Katia or SolidWorks or Fusion 360, this is the workbench for you. So first thing we need to do is create a body. But you know what? I don't want to start by making a body. I want some head action. So this is how I'm going to do it. Click on top right up here to look straight down. And what we want to do is create a sketch. Once we got a sketch going, it asks us which plane we want to use. Well, we want to build this thing up. So we're going to hit X, the XY button and hit OK. Now, what we want to do is build the circle for the neck. So click here and wait till you're over this center dot, the center intersection point. And you see how you can kind of see a little circle with uh, that looks like two X's. It looks like this guy right here popping up over there. When you got that, just drag it out. Doesn't matter what size you make it. So then you want to come up here and select constraint diameter because I want to put my value in, in diameter, not radius. Once you have that, you can click over here and it asks you how much uh, for your value. So the value we're going to do is 6.5. And now you can see we got our circle. It's 6.5 millimeters. You can click escape. Move this around if you don't like it, put it in here, put it out there, whatever you want to do with it, whatever floats your boat. So hit close. And now what we want to do is select our sketch and make a pad. Pad is basically FreeCAD's way of saying extrude. See, we're uh, pulling it up. So that looks a little big to me. Let's uh, bring this down to size. Go up here, 1.2 millimeters. Hit enter. Now, the next thing it, we want to do, we got the neck. Let's get the head. Click there and create another sketch. And the reason we want to click here is because you want to sketch right on top of that. And you'll see that in a second. So create new sketch again. Let's go to the circle tool right over here and wait till you're in the middle. There you go. There's the sign we're looking for. And now whatever, make this whatever size you want, because we're just going to use our diameter constraint to fix it. So click here and the diameter of this is 10.1. There you go. Now let's close this up. And you can see that this looks like it's sitting on top of that. Pretty neat, huh? All right, click the sketch again, and let's make another pad. And this time we're going to go 8.4 millimeters. See, it's starting to look more and more like a Lego head already. Now, last one. Let's make that uh, dimple or whatever on top of its head. So you can put some hair on the guy. Go up here, make another circle. Wait till we got the right mark. There we go. And, you know, we can make it as big as we want. Again. Now, select here for diameter again. Click here, and our diameter is 8.4 millimeters. Close this up, and you guessed it. Let's make another pad. 
and this pad will be 1.7 millimeters tall. Boom. Check that out. See, it's starting to look more and more like a Lego man head. I know you're saying, oh, it's not round, but we'll get to that. Just, but first, what I want to do is make the little leg hole or neck hole, not leg hole. So you go to the bottom view here, or you can use these controls here if you really want. See, there's our top, there's our bottom. And click on this because we're, I'll show you here. We're clicking on this surface. So on this surface right here, and let's create another sketch. And of course it will zoom in facing it. And we want to make, you guessed it, another circle. So now we want to give this a diameter again. And the diameter for it this time will be 4.8 millimeters. Click. So we've used the pad command a bunch, but now we want to make a hole. So we're going to use the pocket command. This is basically FreeCAD's version of extruded cut. And we want this to be six millimeters. There you go. See, looks like a little head or, or a Lego head. But you might say, well, I want this rounded, you know, or Lego head is really rounded. It, it's kind of there, but it's kind of jank. All right, so we can select here and then select here. So we got both these edges. Oh, make sure you hold control like this dummy didn't. Now that both are selected, you can click here, which is our fillet tool. Grab your fillet tool and you want to give it a radius. So our radius will be, let's try two millimeters. Ah, and it's gonna tell us it failed. Now the reason it failed is because our chamfer is gonna go out more than here. So we can just give it a smaller chamfer. Let's go 1.75. And there you go. There's our little Lego head. It's just that easy. Okay, guys, when you are done, hold the middle button on your mouse along with the right button and you'll enter rotate mode. Now we can celebrate properly by spinning our model around for hours, which is what I like to do. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like. I'm a small YouTube channel. So every like I get helps me get noticed by that dreaded algorithm. Stay smart. Stay safe.